thank you so much for joining me for this interview today. Hi, thank you for having me. Thank you. Yes, of course. And for those of you watching, this is David. He was a part of the cast for our new web series, Virtual Love and Lockdown, which debuts this spring. So check him out. He's in episode one. So right off the bat, you'll get to meet him. Um, but for the people who don't know you who are watching, can you just introduce yourself to them? Yeah, my name is David Walton Rice, and I'm currently based in Arizona, Phoenix, Arizona, in the U.S., um, and I read for the role of Josh in Virtual Love and Lockdown. Awesome, yes, so you played Josh, um, and I want to know, what, how are you similar, how are you different to your character, and just who is Josh? Give the audience a little bit of a taste of who Josh is. Absolutely. So <clears throat> my general impression of Josh is this guy is just a go-getter. He doesn't really stop to think about what other people think about him. And uh, that's kind of refreshing. Yeah. You know, I know me as a person, um, I, I think there's, there's always a certain degree to where I care about what people think of me. Mm -hmm. You know, so it was kind of fun to play someone who just doesn't really care. Um, but in a good way, I feel like. Yeah. Um, and how we're, how we're similar and that aspect is that he goes after what he wants, and I feel like I do the same thing. Um, where we're a little different is, is I have a little bit more patience, <laughs> I feel like, um, as far as dealing with other people, um, especially those people with the op opposite sex. Um, so, uh, yeah, I, I hope that answers the question. Totally, absolutely. I agree. I think, you know, he's very determined, and I can tell you are too. You're, you have a great work ethic. You're very, like, professional and kind and I think he's all of those things he just has no kind of boundaries filter no filter he, yeah he just goes after it yeah I feel like that's great so my next question is um well and for those of you watching just a little background um David did participate in our Fintress winter readings our night of readings and um they read that the episode that he's in so he got to kind of have a little taste of what the show is like before actually filming. So my question to you, David, is did participating in the Fincher's Winter Readings help you get more comfortable with your character faster so that when it came to filming, you were already like, okay, I got this. Oh, 110%. I was actually glad that we were going to do a reading before the actual, uh, you know, the, the, the streaming. Yeah. Uh, it helped me dive a little bit deeper into who Josh was and just, just grounded me a lot more. And then going over it and, and you know, rehearsing and everything was perfect. Um, so, yeah, I think any time in the future, if I'm ever a part of something like this, which is incredible, I would love to do another reading beforehand. So, yeah, it definitely mm -hmm. helps. Yeah, I think even for me, like directing, it helped because I felt probably the most comfortable and just ready to go with yeah. the episode because we had previously worked on it. I knew exactly what I wanted. You and I were already on the same page and there was basically no acting work that had to be done because I had given you the notes already. You had already put them into your body and you knew what to do. And so... I feel like it was it was just such smooth sailing when it came to filming. So I loved that. I thought that was great. Um, and I hope to do that with more of our productions in the future because I really do think it helps the actors kind of oh. like just ease into it, you know, like you said. Absolutely. Yeah, so my next question is, um, what has it been like from your perspective dealing with this whole pandemic? I mean, it's been such an adjustment for actors and I want to know, what are the challenges of this new way of acting and what are the benefits for you? Well, right off the bat, it kind of forces you, um, if you want to keep pushing forward, to, to get a little bit more creative and think outside the box. So for me personally, since everything started, I kind of looked at it as an opportunity to stretch i guess the the limits of my own creative you know creative uh, process so by hopping on zooms and doing everything this way virtually it forces you to kind of adjust and i think that that's what it's all about i, I don't think there's one right way to do things especially in this business so i feel like if there's a way where we can still make it work and come together and create something that is no matter which you know no matter how you do it that's the best way you know, so for me, I, I haven't, um, 
I haven't had any regrets as far as having to switch up the way I do things um, uh, with my with my craft. So I love that. I think, yeah, that I think. really like resonate with that because for me, I feel the same way. Like I am totally cool with change. I feel like as yeah. artists, we have to be able to adapt. And I think you know this has really challenged everybody's creativity and you know asking, okay, what's possible? We have new limitations, but how can we kind of like surpass what is what's possible and do something that kind of you know changes the game for yeah. creativity and so i i really have enjoyed this time um and i feel like i have no regrets either i think that's just the best way to look at it because you can be so negative during this time everybody can you know dwell on it or we can just rise to the challenge you know exactly, exactly. yeah so yeah. very well put um <laughs> My next question is, using only three adjectives, how would you describe your character of Josh? Right off the top, I'm thinking of ambitious. Um, definitely ambitious. I want to say a little lively. <laughs> um, I just, to be honest with you, I just keep going back to the word ambitious. Yeah. Um, well, there's a lot that encompasses that. Like, exactly. he's tenacious. You know, he has that stamina to like just be who he is. Yeah. Maybe like authentic. Exactly, very authentic. Like we talked about earlier, there's really no filter there, which isn't yeah. it, it isn't good and it isn't bad. Some people may not resonate with that, which you know, um, as people will watch, um, they'll see. But um, it's he's just he just goes for it, you know. Yeah. Um, and that's what stuck with me the most, you know. Totally. I feel like what I'm hearing is the ambitious, yeah, which you said, authentic, go-getter, just determined, which I know that those are similar, but they can also be very different. And I feel like it really does describe his character. Those are good. Okay. Um, my next question is, if people are watching this and they're like, David is cool. He's awesome. Or, oh, I want to work with him. Um, do you have social media or a website where people can reach you at? I sure do. So the main platform that I use is Instagram. Um, you can catch me on Instagram at David Walton Rice. That's my username. I also have a website, uh, DavidWaltonRice.com. Um, on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, basically all the same names. And if you actually go to um, my Instagram, there's a link tree under there. You can tap on that, and there's all my tabs under there where you can see a couple clips and some of the work I've done. So. That's yeah. amazing. So if you want to check out David, if you want to work with him, um, below this video, I am tagging his Instagram username. And if you look on his bio, that's where you can see the link tree where he has everything else. Um, so check him out. Be his friend. Collaborate with him. He's truly the best. You're the best. And I have loved working with you. Seriously. So. Likewise. <laughs> Yes. Oh, I'd love to work with you again soon. Definitely. Oh, absolutely. Anytime. Yeah. Great. Um, okay. So I have one more question for you. Yeah. My last question is for the people who are going to watch this show, if you had to if, just tell them one thing before they watched it, what would it be? I would say that it's incredibly refreshing. because It's so human. Um, like you said yourself, we talked about it. This was a situation that you experienced yourself. Yep. And you found a way to take that situation and create with it and not only create with it, but bring people together from all over the place. So for the people watching, just realize that there's, there's connections made through this one, this one scenario yeah. that uh, Sam was able to uh, bring together, bring everybody together and, and create this, this, uh, this amazing series all virtually. So it's just, I love it. That's what, I, that's what I have to say. I love it, and I hope everyone loves it, too. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, I, I'm really excited because really, like, everybody who's involved is – we have people from all over the world. It's and it's just – it's so fun um, getting to connect with all, all of you artists and um, kind of tell these, like, really awkward but real stories. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they're all based in truth, either from my experiences or my friends, and I just think it's – funny because of the world that we're living in right now we just kind of need humor and to bring people together and exactly. so i'm just really happy and i'm thankful to get to work with all of you um 
So yeah, but thank you again for doing this interview with me. Thank you for having me. <laughs> yeah, of course. Um, for those of you watching, Virtual Love and Lockdown debuts on April 20th. The very first episode, which David is in, is debuting that day. Um, yes, I'm so excited. And then we're going to have each episode debut weekly. So it's going to be seven full weeks of just fun episodes. So you don't want to miss it. So please stay tuned. And uh, again, thank you so much, David. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Talk to you later.